certainly disappointed for seven years I've been hearing we'll be killed and replaced from Congress. And I've been hearing it loud and strong. And then when we finally get a chance to repeal and replace, they don't take advantage of it. So that's disappointing. So I'm very, uh, I would say I'm disappointed in what took place. Uh, it will go on and we'll win. We're going to win on taxes. We're going to win on infrastructure and lots of other things that we're doing. We've won and are winning the war, as you know, on the border. We're very much decimating ISIS. You can see that. You see that better than anybody sees it, the soldiers that are with us today. We've had a lot of victories, but we haven't had a victory in health care. Uh, we're disappointed. I am very disappointed because, again, even as a civilian, for seven years I've been hearing about health care. And I've been hearing about uh, repeal and replace. And Obamacare is a total disaster. Some states had over a 200 percent increase, a 200 percent increase in their premiums. And their deductibles are through the roof. It's an absolute disaster. And I think you'll also uh, agree that I've been saying for a long time, let Obamacare fail, and then everybody's going to have to come together and fix it. And uh, come up with a new plan and a plan that's really good for the people with much lower premiums, much lower costs, and much better protection. I've been saying that, Mike, I think you'll agree for a long time. Let Obamacare fail. It'll be a lot easier. And I think we're probably in that position where we'll just let Obamacare fail. Uh, we're not going to own it. I'm not going to own it. I can tell you the Republicans are not going to own it. We'll let Obamacare fail, and then the Democrats are going to come to us, and they're going to say, how do we fix it? How do we fix it? Or, how do we come up with a new plan? So, we'll see what happens. There's some other things going on right now as we speak. But I am disappointed because, for so many years, I've been hearing repeal and replace. I'm sitting in the Oval Office, right next door, pen in hand, waiting to sign something. And I'll be waiting. And eventually, we're going to get something done, and it's going to be very good. But Obamacare is a big failure. And it has to be changed. We have to go to a plan that works. We have to go to a much less expensive plan, plan in terms of premiums. And something will happen, and it'll be very good. May not be as quick as we had hoped, but it's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Well, they were not disloyal. They had their own reasons. I was very surprised when the two folks came out last night because we thought they were in fairly good shape, but uh, they did. And, you know, everybody has their own reason. But if you really think about it, you look at it, and we have 52 people. We had no Democrat support, which is really, you know, something that should be said. We should have had Democrats voted as a great plan for a lot of people. Uh, we had no Democrat support. We have 52 people. We had four knows. Now, we might have had another one somewhere in there, but essentially, the vote would have been pretty close to, if you look at it, 48 to 4. Uh, that's a pretty impressive vote by any standard. And yet, you have a vote of 48 to 4 or something like that, and you need more. That's pretty tough. So the way I look at it is, in 18, we're going to have to get some more people elected. We have to go out and we have to get more people elected that are Republican. And we have to probably pull in those people, those few people that voted against it. I don't know. They're going to have to explain to you why they did, and I'm sure they'll have very fine reasons. But we have to get more Republicans elected because we have to get it done. We got it passed in the House. We would have gotten it very much. Yeah, you can't use his head as a stand, right? We don't want that to happen. You're messing with the wrong guy here. So uh, we, we want — we want uh, — I think we're going to do very well, actually, in 18. I would be not surprised if something were done long before that. But in any event, because the margin is so small, the majority margin is so small, we're going to have to go out and get more Republicans elected in 18. And I'll be working very hard for that to happen, okay? And it would be nice to have Democrat support, but really, they're obstructionists. Uh, they have no ideas. They have no thought process. All they want to do is obstruct government and obstruct, period. And in this case, think of it. Uh, so many good things, we didn't get one vote, and their plan has failed. And by the way, Obamacare isn't failing. It's failed. It's gone. So uh, I think something's going to happen. We'll find out. Stay tuned.